All right, so we are all packed up and hooked up, and I just got to get in, bring in the solar panels, getting the last little bit of juice here, and we are heading out, leaving our little boondocking spot here in Carlsbad, New Mexico. We wanted to go to White Sands, but the way, it's kind of a long story, but the route that we look, that we want to take and where we need to go, we might not be able to do White Sands, so I think we're just going to head towards um, Las Cruces, and maybe we'll try for one of the other areas over there. There's a Gila Cliff Dwellings over there and a couple other things that maybe we get to do as we head back towards Arizona. So I gotta get the solar panels and we are off. I love the way they look, the Airstreams, but I don't like how small they are. They're cool looking. They're spaceship looking. Spaceship. That's why you like them. Yeah, something, yeah. Yeah, it looks oh, like the old uh, UFO. <laughs> he's got his walking stick. He's going to town. That's sure it's what you like. Yeah. Middle of nowhere bathroom break. And there's a little picnic table area that they offer here in, uh, it's actually back in Texas, right on the border of Texas, New Mexico, just outside of El Paso. But man, this is the middle of nowhere. No cell service, no gas stations. Like, uh, what is no service for 130 miles? 139 miles and no service. Cell service, gas service, bathroom service, anything like that. So pretty cool though. I love about being out in the middle of nowhere. But they got these little picnic tables. Does anybody know, can you stay the night at these little overnight picnic stable places? Are you allowed to stay the night or are you going to get a state trooper come by and wake you up at 2 in the morning? Post it in the comments below.
we pull into this place and there's nobody here. And within minutes of being here, one, two, three, four more cars pull in behind us. Either we're really popular. We smell good. Or we smell good, is that what it is? That's just weird. Middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. I don't even want to know what's going on. All right, I'm going to wait and let these guys go by. There's more people behind them, so. Yeah, there's nobody on the road now, so there's hard to uh, I think the closer we get to El Paso, there's more and more people. But you're right, I don't know. For the longest time, there was nobody on the road. Nobody, nobody I mean, nobody passed me. Yeah, nothing. So what, 30, 30, 30 40 30 miles away, hopefully? Miles, yeah. Hopefully, considering the gas situation. Yeah. We are kind of cutting it close, I guess. We've been fighting a headwind the whole time, so. Uphill. Uphill and a headwind. So we're cutting it a little close on gas, but I think we'll be all right. We got like 60 mile range, and I think it's less than 30 miles. So we'll see. Hoping. The drama. And fold. Hopefully, no, how many more <laughs> miles because we don't have cell service. Oh, that's right, yeah. We have no cell service. Yeah. Last sign. That's all. all right, we'll let you know. If we make it. <laughs> if we make it or not. If we don't, it'll be great drama. It'll make for yeah. good, good footage. Yeah, there you go. Oh, my. There's tons of people behind us. Look at all the sand dunes. Look at that. That is, it's all kinds of. That is, that's all sand dunes. That's wow. all sand dunes. All right, so with 40 miles to empty, we're a gas station's about 10 miles up here. So that's a good thing. That means we're gonna make it. Made it. Yeah. So, but you know, it's something to keep in mind is, um, I don't know how many of you run across this, but when you have a trailer and you have a big four head, or in this case, a five head, when the when you have the headwind, it really makes a big difference in how much on, on your gas mileage. I mean, a tremendous difference. You know, I drop down. I notice I drop down two gears instead of sixth and fifth. I'm running fourth, and sometimes I'll even hit third, trying to just keep pace. And then you throw in a little bit of an uphill grade. That's really going to affect your gas mileage. And hence, we had the problem. We calculated it out pretty good and had plenty of reserve, but with a big uh, big headwind and a slight upgrade. It's up, um, uphill, that really makes a big difference in our gas mileage. But we made it. We always say try to have a little extra. Josie's see Josie's, some, Josie's some commenting there. She was concerned too. Always. Well, except you want to go dump in Anthony, huh? Yep. Yeah, we have to. We really gonna need to because we, well, we need water, so. All right, so we made it to gas. No problem. We had about 35 miles left. All because of a big headwind and a slight uphill. But at least we made it. We are now in El Paso heading west towards... We had to go dump the tanks. We've been... We got Anthony? Anthony, A Texas. pilot and... Uh, and a pilot? Loves. I think, loves. Loves. Even better. Loves in Anthony, Texas. Right on the Texas border. Texas, New Mexico. Texas, New Mexico border, yeah. Let's get out of here. We're only like 30 miles from there. Stop again in 30 miles. In 30 miles? Yep. Uh, I wish these guys had a dump station. I looked, there was hardly anything around out in this area of El Paso. I'm sure we could hit one of these RV parks here, but I'd rather just do loves. Water, but if we're gonna stop and just get water, we might as well stop and do the tanks.
So we're here in um, Anthony, Texas, doing a black tank dump and gray tank dump. It's my flush for the black tank. This is the Flying J using their facility. It's 750 with your uh, Flying J Pilot Rewards card. So it's nice when you've been boondocking for a few days, you can come here and pay the 750, dump your tanks. And actually, they have, they have uh, potable water here, so we're going to fill up with potable water. And then I use this to uh, flush out the black tank before we take off. But what a beautiful sunset, huh? We're heading to uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico now. Probably going to do a Walmart overnight as we head a little bit further west. But had to show that really pretty sunset. Even though we're dumping tanks, it's still beautiful out here. 